Welcome to lesson 1.2. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about how to filter results. As I said, we'll be talking about this in the context of color, but try to think about this concept more generally, because it'll be useful later. The idea is you can go into Google and pose a query, and sometimes you get lots and lots of results, millions of results, but you're looking for something a little bit more precise than that. So the question is, how can I filter or limit the number of results by a particular property? In the image case, it's easy to imagine filtering by color, but that also sometimes has some context or semantic implications. So let's talk about filtering image results by color. As you know, you can go into Google Image Search and do a search for, say, fossils like this. But while these are nice fossils, maybe I want the whitish fossils, ones that are embedded in chalk or something. So to do that, what I will do is click on the Tools option, and then on the Color option. As you can see here, it pops up a set of options, full color, black and white, transparent, or a little color palette right there. So now if I click on the white palette chip, what you'll see is suddenly all of the images are whitish in color, primarily white. So notice this isn't black and white, it's just whitish. Okay? Now this is an interesting thing to notice because sometimes color can be super important. If you're searching for a sports car, you may not want a gray sports car. Maybe you want a red sports car. So now I can filter by color by doing that same thing. Click on the red palette item. Now we see a lot of beautiful orangish and reddish sports cars. Now, it's an interesting question. When you're filtering by color, sometimes it's more than just a color. For instance, here we have a set of football fields. I've done an image search for football fields, but I know that there are some football fields that are not green. In particular, I know there are some that are blue. So if I switch to filtering football field images by blue color, guess what? I get a lot of blue football fields. I will leave it to you to figure out why some places have football fields that are blue. It's an interesting question. But now, if you think about the different kinds of filters we can apply, sometimes it gets a little bit more subtle. So in this image search, I searched for Tesla. Now, what I was really thinking about was trying to find the inventor Tesla and not the car. Fine. So maybe I would think, let's search for black and white images of Tesla. So let me show you this. So here we are. We've done a search for Tesla the car, but there are two things to point out here. First, there are all these oval-shaped chips here at the top. You see those? If I click on one of these, say the, say, Roadster here, this will show me all the Teslas that are also Roadsters. So these are a lot of different kinds of filters. But in this case, what I really want to do is to go back. I'm going to clear this. So now we're back. I just turned the Roadster option off. But I changed, I want to search filter by color. In this case, black and white. And while that's great, it's still cars. I want a Tesla the person. So what I can do is filter by image type. What I mean by that is under this option here. See it? It says type. Click on that, and now I can filter by face, photo, clip, line art, and so on. In this case, I want to see Teslas that are black and white that have a face in them. And guess what? I get a lot of them, including lots of pictures of Nikolai Tesla. Of course, if you modify the query and you modify the color, you'll be exploring a different part of the image space. Here, I've modified the query to be Tesla coil, and if it's purple, you get lots of beautiful arcing purple lightning bolts generated by Tesla coils. But if I go to black and white, now the context is different. Black and white images of lightning bolts are one thing, but also you get a lot of schematics. You get a lot of diagrams that show you how to build a Tesla coil. So sometimes the color implies a little bit of context, a little bit of semantics. So now you know how to search by color and how to filter by different properties like face and color and so on. Try activity 1.2 and see how far you get.